Hi, I'm Tom Lydon, editor of ETF Trends here in Hollywood, Florida at the ETF.com conference. And I'm here with Simeon Hyman, who's head of investment strategy at ProShares, and also Steve Sachs, who's head of capital markets. Gentlemen, welcome. It's great to have Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. So ProShares has a lot going on, really helping advisors kind of get through landmines and that type of thing. Steve, what are you seeing the biggest thing that advisors are interested in or maybe concerned about in 2015? Definitely the fixed income markets, Tom. You know, obviously with what's going on with monetary policy in the Fed, advisors are focused on protecting their clients' fixed income portfolio in a rising rate environment. And there's really a couple of aspects to that, not just the rising rate environment and what that does ultimately to bond prices, but then the volatility around that. So in particular, we've got a lot of conversations going on right now with advisors with our high yield interest rate hedge products as well as our investment grade interest rate hedge products. So the idea is, right, clients need to maintain that fixed income portfolio and that exposure, but they need to do it in a smarter way in a rising rate environment. So these two products in particular allow you to allocate to that space with a duration hedge so you're not impacted by rising rates. So let's get specific. Uh, uh, we know when rate hikes come in, the biggest area to get hit are going to be? Treasuries, Treasuries no right? doubt about it. Government uh, markets get hit first. Yeah. Ultimately, you typically end up getting a lot more protection in the investment grade and high yield space because of the very nature of the actual sector and the fact that rates rise when economies are good, right? At the end of the day, the U.S. economy is strong and only getting stronger, particularly relative to other developed markets. So ultimately, more money will shift into those corporate sectors like high yield and investment grade, and they're protected more in those environments because at the end of the day, the companies who are issuing those bonds are doing well and not having an issue servicing their debt. Right. So briefly, these products actually short treasuries and, and short duration, right? They while do. They, while you're getting the income out of the high yield aspect. They do. The products themselves are very straightforward. They're long a portfolio of corporate okay. bonds and they're shorting okay. treasury futures to take the duration to zero. Okay, and the names and tickers? HYHG, which is the high yield interest rate hedge, and IGHG, which is the investment grade interest rate hedge. Excellent, okay, great strategies. So Simeon, we also talked about uh, managing risk last week at the uh, ETF Virtual Summit, and some of the points that you brought up were really, really important as far as the average advisor needs to make sure that they've got that asset class represented. Well, you know, Tom, it's like a New Year's resolution. I'm going to work out, I'm going to lose weight. Every advisor and all their clients say, I'm going to diversify my portfolio. Of course, we've had a, a long run now where bonds and stocks have done well, and there hasn't been perhaps quite the impetus to keep that resolution. This may very well be the year where that comes true. So talk about ALTS, A-L-T-S, which is your uh, partnering strategy with Morningstar. Yeah, we looked at the landscape and said there's a challenge out there. You know, liquid alternatives have gotten uh, quite large in the marketplace over the last couple of years, but predominated by mutual funds, which solve for liquidity, but not so much transparency and low cost. The next revolution of alt low liquid alternatives and ETFs brings that transparency of rules-based approaches and low cost. But still the question is, how do I put together that portfolio of alternatives? What strategies do I use? And how do I fit them in my portfolio? And we partnered with Morningstar to put together ticker ALTS alts to solve that problem, to put a package of seven of our ETFs together in an asset allocation that makes sense and is easy to fit into a portfolio of traditional investments. So within this ETF, there are actually multiple alternative strategies. So run through a few of them. So as an example, we have uh, merger arbitrage, we have infrastructure, um, we have long short strategy. And I think one of the key elements is that that allocation's dynamic. You know, so every month we look at that allocation and see where the opportunities are to tilt it a little bit one way or the other. Because a static allocation in alternatives isn't right in all environments. As a great example, we've been quite pleased, you know, since we launched the product in the fall, the strategy has been overweight managed futures, which has benefited from the volatility in the energy markets, but it's been underweight, it's break-even inflation strategy because we haven't yet had seen that impetus for inflation, and that's really helped its performance, and it means that you don't have to completely give up your opportunity for some market upside when you're really attending to that New Year's resolution of diversification. Great, great, guys. I mean, this is just another example of ETF 2.0 where a lot of advisors have embraced pure beta strategies, but now, as maybe in 2015, we see equity market correction, rising rates, currency. It's 
those built-in strategies within that simple ETF tool that you folks have done a great job on. So congratulations and thanks for spending time with me. Thank you, thanks Tom. Thanks very much, Tom.